She's gonna feel my wrath. Leia, there you, oh, you are gonna. Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to the Punchwood Farm. I'm just pacing back and forth here because I'm so nervous. Today we have a lunch date with Leah and I don't know what to do. Oh gosh, hold on, I'm stomping so loudly, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, check it out guys. We have some new, uh, <laughs> new options here. <laughs> Uh, we have footstep sounds, ambient sounds now, all independent of one another, which is awesome. Uh, we had just music and sound before, so that's fantastic. We have some new stuff here, too. I don't know what all this does. Lock toolbar, menu background, something I'll have to look into. We have a zoom level now, too, so you can zoom in and out. You can show the buttons here or remove them. So I'm going to play around with those and try it. I just upped the lighting quality to high. It was set to medium by default. We have snow transparency slider. I don't know what that's for. Um, well, I do. It obviously tells you what it's for. Uh, but we don't have snow, so we're not going to see that for a while. And show flash effects. And I'm not sure what else is new. Okay. Anyway, good. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. And now let's check the weather for tomorrow. Weather report. is It's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, I like when it rains. I'm going to go fishing in the rain tomorrow. Let's remember that, okay? Who? I see a glimmer with my scrying orb. Oh, whack job. What is that all about? I've never seen the golden pyramid. Good humor today. The spirits. A little extra luck. We're going to need that today with Leia. And was that, was that anything else? No. Okay. <sighs> so nervous. I can't even think straight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Mail. Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? <laughs> a few dozen boxes? Sounds like uh, BJ's Wholesale. You can't buy anything small in small packages. Everything's got to be uh, just on pallets. Okay, we're going... Well, oh man, <sighs> water first, water first. <laughs> Let's just water everything first. All of our crops. And then we're going to get a move on. Where's that stinking dog? dog? Oh, there he is! It's just like he heard me, that dog gone dog. Now, one of the things I noticed in the change log notes was that Leah's schedule has been fixed. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'm out of water. There we go. Refill. Um, so I don't know what that means. I don't know if she was... Um, off of her schedule before or what? But we're supposed to meet her there at 1 o'clock by the pond. That's what we told her. That's what it says in the Blackberry. And I cannot disappoint her. We're going to be there 1 o'clock on the dot. No questions asked. Don't want to be late. We're not going to be that cool guy that shows up late because that's just ignorant and rude. Um, we're going to be right on time. Won't be early either. you gotta, you got to show up right up on time, man. <laughs> So now let's figure out what we're going to bring on this lunch date and give to Leo. We can only give her one thing, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking the uh, horseradish. You want to know why? Because remember when we first met at the pond, I said, you look radishing, because I had a radish in my hand. I gave her radish, and I was very, you know, flabbergasted and all discombobulated. Well, I think that's going to be our little pet thing. I'm going to call her. I'm going to. I'm going to call her radishing again. I think she likes it. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm also going to bring a parsnip and a daffodil just in case we run into anyone else that we might want to gift, because I think we might head into town. Um, however, first things first. I think we're going to take down some more trees over in this area because I want to collect that 300 wood to fix up that bridge over by the beach down by Willie's place because I think there's something intriguing on the other side so let's just remove some of these trees here it's only nine o'clock we've got plenty of time there you are Wilson hi buddy it's good to see you oh I have got to water you too oh darn okay forgot about that don't forget to water your dog there you go buddy that's for your ball, and that's for you. Look at him wagging his tail. <laughs> you want me to get rid of this thing, don't you? All right, I'll get rid of it. It seems like it's in the way. And I'll get rid of this stump, too. The stumps aren't very useful. I guess they do grow into trees eventually, but it's a really long time. I want the pine, though. I don't want to destroy the pine tree. I need more pines. I seem to have a shortage of the pines around here. I'm going to do some work around the farm sooner or later. 
but I'm just so busy with uh, with with country life, meeting the people, and giving gifts, and all that stuff that comes with socializing in a small town. That I just haven't really been bothered too much with my own farm. Eleven o'clock. I think that's good. We should probably get moving again. I don't want to be late. I don't want to be early. But oh, a geode. Oh, bring that with. I didn't even see that. Uh, sap away that, that, and the rocks. And I think what I'm going to do is get that. Let's get this uh, little seed in the ground right now. Quickly water that. Okay, let's go. 11.30. If we get there early, we're just hiding the bushes. Just like last time. As long as she doesn't see us. Hopefully her schedule hasn't been messed up. <laughs> now, I do know for a fact that Leah loves salad and I, the only reason I know is because people had mentioned that in the comments um, and it's also in the wiki and I kind of knew from beta but I don't want to cheat that way I want her to tell me I want to discover her likes from her and that to me seems more natural and organic and in spirit of the game oh you know what we should be looking for pine cones too so there you go. If you want to know, that's what she loves, and will, she will really appreciate it if you give it to her. Uh, if you give um, uh, salad, salad, and you can buy it at um, P at the, the saloon. Oh my god, I can't even talk. I better, I better figure this out. I better learn how to talk again because she's gonna be coming out any time now. It's 1:10. I better have a snack. I'm gonna eat. No, let's eat some of these. These are good salmon berries. Save my field snacks for when I go underground in the mines. Oh, okay, one more. These are so fresh and delicious. Mm. No preservatives, no fertilizers, no uh, bug killer. <laughs> Just fr Ooh, who's shaking a tree down here? Uh oh, wait a minute. It is Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday the 16th. Where is Leah? <gasps> no. No. She didn't blow me off. Are you kidding me? Her, I, oh, didn't we meet here last Tuesday? Well, she said if you hear banging, then it's just her um, doing sculpting. Oh no, What? maybe her schedule got changed. Maybe she has something important to do in town. Let's go to town, I guess. Darn. Now, I was there. We were there at one, right? Okay. Just so you guys saw that, you, you bore witness. You bore witness to the fact that I showed up at the pond at 1 o'clock and Leah was not there. <sighs> hey, Granny, have you seen Leah? Oh, man, what am I going to do? I thought she liked me. We had a date. Well, get out of here. Thank you, birds. Uh, let's see, maybe, maybe she's off somewhere. Help wanted. I want to pull a prank on my dad. I'll, I'll need a green bean. Keep it secret for Abigail. Oh, wait a minute. I think we sold our green bean, didn't we? Darn. That makes Abigail happy, that green bean. Shucks. Oh, there she is. Oh, Abby, I'm so sorry. I don't have a green bean. But how about... Wait a minute. I'll, um... Daffodil? You brought me a present? Thanks. I did indeed. Go ahead and eat it. I know how much you like to eat the flora around here. All right, let's go grab some more salmon berries. I really don't know what happened to Leah, guys. The girl's breaking my heart. Leah! Leah! Not in there. What the? Oh, Granny, I need some advice. Granny, Evelyn, I need some advice. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. Yeah, and he tends to kill them. I think. Have you checked the basement lately? If you get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Oh, I'm sure. After chopping you to pieces and maybe cooking you up on the fire. Oh, oh, never mind. She's, she can't hear me anyway. She's She's got a hearing problem. Oh, no, it's Elliot. As long as Leah's not with Elliot, then that's okay. Ah, darn. All right, let's go get this geode process at the very least. This Penny. Vindog! Ma won't let me have any more gummies today. Aw, that's so sad. Here, have a... Uh, Tell you what, come here. Wait, come here. I don't know if you're gonna like this or not, but have it anyway. This isn't very fun. 
It's like candy, kid. It's better for your teeth anyway, and better for you. Get some vitamin C in your life. Penny? Penny? Stop, Penny. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's so nice to make a difference in someone's life. It really is. You're a sweetheart. I'm gonna give you something. Would you... Uh, wait. I'm gonna give you a parsnip. Here. Thank you! This looks special! It is! She was shaken, wasn't she? Oh, Leah. Alright. Bye. Elliot. Where's Leah? What have you done with her? A great idea can pass through your head when at least you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Uh-huh. Sure. Whatever. And now I think Clint's closed for the day, and I can't even get this geode processed. What a lousy day. Absolutely terrible. I got stood up, Gunther! It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for caring about me. And my feelings. And my love life. Hey, Sam, right? What you doing? Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, Sam. Take it easy. I guess we're done here. I'm in such a bad mood. Now that Leah stood me up. And I wasted the whole day thinking about it. You know what? I bet she's at the saloon. I got some words for her. She's gonna feel my wrath. Leah, there you... Oh, you are gonna... <sighs> Calm down. Calm. Did the music just stop? Uh... Okay, let me go put some music on because this suddenly got really awkward. Let's find our song. Not that one. Horse Radish Jam. It's the spring Horse Radish Jam. This is our jam, girl. Leah, what happened? I was at the pond waiting for you. We, we had a lunch date. Hello, neighbor. Uh, did you hear a word I just said, Leah? We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? She's playing with me. You're yanking my chain, Leah. Well, anyway, I was going to give this to you at our lunch date. And uh, you look radishing, girl. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. <gasps> Guys, two hearts. I know it is. Thank you so much. You know what? I forgive you. Oh, I forgive you for missing our lunch date. I know you probably had something really important to do. I totally understand. I, I get it. I get it. So, sooner or later, guys, she's going to open up and tell us about how much she loves salad. And now that we have two hearts with her, I think we're we're breaking through the ice. She's going to tell us. Sooner or later, we're going to get that little tidbit out of her. And all of the people here do that. So, if you just keep giving them random gifts, and if, unless they hate them, then you will get uh, positives. Uh, well, unless it's neutral or hate, they won't give you anything. Look at poor Pam. Hey, Gus, give another round here. Oh, gosh. Would you lay off the juice? Hey, Gus, give me another round. <laughs> I'm not Gus, Pam. He's over there. Hey, Gus, give me another round. Oh, Gus, cut her off. Take her keys, please, so she doesn't walk home and stumble about. Hey, Clint, I have a geode for you. Can I come by tomorrow? If you want me to upgrade your tools, you have to give me the correct door. Okay, great. And you'll have to pay me a fee, of course. <laughs> I know, nothing good's free. Or if you don't get nothing for something, or something for nothing. What? What do you want? Go away. Shane, I have something for you. I want you to have this right here. Actually, no, I need that. I want you to have this berry. This is great, thanks! Oh, wait a minute. I didn't think people liked fruits. Apparently, Shane likes fruits. Okay. Well, trial and error. That's how it works. And, you know, I just don't say hi to Caroline enough. Or Gus, really. Gus! Ha! Huh, please relax and enjoy yourself and spend lots of money on expensive salads and coffee. Yeah. Right. Carol. Oh, oh it's Emily! Ooh! <gasps> Apparently I don't talk to her enough because I thought she was Caroline. I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills! You're so nice. What can I give you? I have a field snack, but I have a feeling she won't appreciate that. I'm, I'm gonna give you some fruits and see what she thinks about fruits. Sorry, Punchwood. 
I don't like this. Well, at least you're honest. Well, Emily, honesty is the best policy. I'll, I'll make it up to you. All right. We're done here. All right, Leah, we'll see ya. Um, we're going to have to make it another date night, okay? Or date day. Oh, gosh. Did I say date night? I think I did. I let that slip. Well, that was a busy day, and I'm pooped. Emotionally drained, essentially. I thought it was over between Leah and I, but now, I mean, it's just, it seems like it's just beginning. Yeah, new beginnings, baby. We're doing okay. Doing okay. I think she just had something very important to do. Like laundry or something. I don't know. But I'm not going to pry into Leah's life and ask her what was more important than meeting old Punchwood. But uh, well, we'll just assume that it was something really important. <laughs> Nine, th uh, ten o'clock, ten o'clock, and what have we done today? Like nothing. Let's sell half of the salmon berries right now, and maybe we can do a little bit of fishing. Although it's getting really late. Yeah, let's throw these salmon berries away. Oh, toss them in the bin. Oh, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, those fix. I guess that was an exploit. I thought I thought that might have been um, by design. I don't know. I guess not, though. Okay, fair enough. We could use a few more torches around the yard. Let's just do that right now. Bang that out quick so I don't have to think about it another day. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Wilson's probably inside. We'll go see him. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just get ready for tomorrow. It's going to be a rainy day. We'll do some fishing. There he is, Wilson by the fire. You're a good boy. Pet, 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 pet. Aw, he loves me. Okay, in bed we go. And sweet dreams, everybody. Oh, wait, let's see uh, what we get. Here endeth the 16th of springeth, year oneeth. 65 gold for um, the salmon berries. Not very good, but better than nothing at all. But more importantly, we learned a very valuable lesson today, and that is to give the benefit of the doubt. And, and a little forgiveness is okay, because everything turned out all right, even though Leah stood us up. Turns out she had a very valid excuse. Laundry or something. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.